McMurray looks, lobs it out here in front court to Clark. Devils lead by eight inside, three to go. The winner advances to play Twin Springs tomorrow night for the Region D Championship. Both teams will qualify for the state quarterfinals next Saturday. Clark has it stolen away. Collie comes up with it for Hayside. Collie will work it across the timeline, gets it over here to Jones. Got to guard Jones and Collie, let the rest of them do what they can. Jones has it, and he has the ball stripped away, stolen away by McMurray. I said guard Jones and Collie and let the rest of them try to beat you. You got it. Luke Humphreys gets it over in the corner to Kilgore. Back to Luke, now to Jesse, stand center circle. Take care of the basketball. Luke Humphreys has it, gets it over in the corner to Clark. Clark will work it back out front against Fires to Luke Humphreys. Luke back to Clark, now back to Luke. Two minutes to play. In the corner here is Clark and he will be fouled. He's gonna dish off the kill goal for the easy bucket, but we're gonna have a foul on Clark. I mean, uh, Jones. Jones. the foul's on Jones, he fouled Clark. And what I'm trying to say is Clark will go to the line to shoot one and one for Gate City. Jones second foul. So the Devils lead by eight, 156 to go. Nate Clark, free throw line, one and one, shot, no good. Rebound, Kali, make that Jones. In front court it comes, here's Byers, long three, shot good. Kevin Byers for three, it makes it 59-54, timeout, Hayside will be back. 9-54, Gate City leads by five, 148 to go here in regulation. Gate City will have the basketball. And watch this pressure in the backcourt. Luke Humphreys on the inbound. Luke gets it in to Nate. Clark brings the ball up the floor. Guarded by Barton, gets it over to McMurray. Now swing it over to Will Humphreys. Humphreys out, center circle, back to Clark. Clark puts it on the floor, leaves it off with Jesse McMurray. McMurray has it out front. Five second count on. Now he moves over to the left side, gets it back to Luke Humphreys, and Luke will be fouled by Barton. His first. Minute 24. Gotta make your free throw. We need these right here. Luke Humphreys, eight points. No turnovers and make your free throws. It yes. Pretty good. Because they will go down and shoot three. Bateman in for Kilgore for Gate City. Jesse McMurray stretching out the, the caves. They crimping a little bit. Luke Humphreys, one and one. Gate City missed a one and one a moment ago. Good. Didn't miss that. Luke ready for the second. It's a two-possession game. Gate City leads by six. Mm. Still a two-possession game. Here comes Collie. Collie has it. Go off his foot. He runs it down, picks it up. Barton has it. Now hands it over for the long three. Shot good by who else? Jacob Collie. Yeah, you didn't figure it'd be out of his hands for long. Clark gets it over to Will Humphreys. Gate City leads by three. Humphreys, and there'll be a timeout. No, going to have a foul come. Foul first on 10. Jones, his third. That'll put Will Humphreys at the line to shoot one and one. That's a ninth team foul. Don't want to be down by two with the basketball in Collie's hands. Gate City wants the timeout. Now we'll have a timeout on the floor. Timeout on the floor. Gate City leads by three. We'll be back. 60 seconds on the clock. 60 57 the score. Gate City leads by three. Will Humphrey for the Blue Devils will step to the line to shoot one and one. And he needs to make two. Will eyes the mark. Free throw up. Good. That so, makes it a two possession game. Four point lead by the Blue Devils. Humphrey set for the second. No good. Rebound. Hey, that's big. Gets it over to McMurray. 
McMurray up front to Clark. Clark is fouled by Colley. Colley picks up his fourth, and that'll put Nate Clark at the line for Gate City to shoot two. Gate City only two of five, though, from the free throw line here late in the fourth quarter. So Clark, free throw. Good. good. Nate won't miss many of those. Missed one a while ago, missed the front end of one and one, but. That doesn't happen often. That doesn't happen often, that's right. Free throw by Nate, good. Good. So, two possession game, Devils lead by six. Here's Collie with it. Imagine that. Now Collie gets it over here to Byers. He'll launch the three. No, no good. good. Rebound. Hustle four. Jones has it. Throws up a three. Go! Oh, my gosh, what a shot. 63-60. Gate City. And here's the pass almost thrown away by Jones. It goes off Jones out of bounds, and it'll belong to Gate City. I mean, I mean that was a prayer. Yeah, his answer. 63-60. Gate City leads by three. 36 seconds to go. McMurray in backcourt to inbounds. Gets it into Luke. Uh, make that Will Humphreys, and he's fouled by Barton. His third. Second. Like that. Boy, we've got all time. 35 all seconds. All time in the world. We need these shots. <laughs> so it'll be Will Humphreys shooting two. And that's the double bonus. Free throw, Humphreys, no good. good. Logan Bateman out, Josh Kilgore in. Timeout. No. No, no timeout. No, it's just a signal for. So Will Humphreys trying to make it a two possession game, and he misses them both. Rebound pulled out there. By the Tigers, Collie has it. Collie guarded out front. Collie stops, he locks a three shot, no good. Tipped around, coming out of there with it, that's Collie. Gets it over to Jones for three shot, no good, but he's fouled. The Blue Devils, Nate Clark commits the foul, and that'll put Jones on the line and he'll shoot three. Clark got the foul. 20 seconds. Just we just can't foul that guy out there shooting that three. Is that Clark's first foul of the game? Yes, it is. My, my. Came at a bad time. Yes, it did. So, Ryan Jones, free throw, no good. Good. No good. Missed it. 20.6 seconds to go. Plenty of time, no matter what he does here. You figure Jones won't miss many himself. Free throw, good. Makes it a two-point game. Jones looks for his 20th point, and he's got it. And we'll have substitutions, defensive substitutions. This is WTA2, Gate City. Gate City leads, 63-62, 20.6 seconds to go. And what do we have? Timeout. Time out. Timeout on the floor. It'll be a 60-second break. We'll be done. Gate City with the basketball. 20.6 seconds to go, and here's a foul. Gate City's Josh Kilgore fouled immediately. That's the smart thing to do. If you're Hayside, Gate City, well, let's call it what it is. They've been atrocious here in the last two minutes from the free throw line. Only four of nine from the free throw line in the last two minutes of the game. That's why the lead is one. So Josh Kilgore to the line. He'll be shooting two. And they're big. He's got to make both of them. Yes, he does. Kilgore, free throw. Good. Two-point lead. Anderson in. So Kilgore with seven points. His eighth one will be pretty big. 
bang. Big step up, Kilgore. Now, guard Collie and Jones. 16, 15 seconds. Collie has it. He's guarded by Luke Humphrey. Collie gives it up to Jones. Jones launches a long three. No good. Rebound. Nobody. Byers has it. He's open for three shot. No good. And Haysai has it again. Byers with it. Long three. No good. All right. And the Blue Devils have defeated Haysai. 65-62. My, what a barn burner. Oh, those, a couple of those threes were just well, right, a you know, prayer. Yep. Jones had a one that was answered earlier, but those would have been a miracle. 65-62, the Blue Devils. My goodness. Find a way to win here tonight. We'll be back to give you final scoring and more after this. Play the regular season because Gate City and Twin Springs are going to play for the region championship. <laughs> somebody was right. Well, so, somebody forgot to tell some of these other it things. It came along awfully the way. close to yeah. being different. It came awfully close. That's exactly right. But uh, you know, these two teams were were supposed to be, and I don't know how you determine that. Were supposed to be the two best teams in uh, Southwest Virginia this year, and Powell Valley was supposed to be here too. And. Uh, but uh, they're not always twi perfect. <laughs> Twin Springs and uh, Twin Springs and Gate City, I guess, live up to the hype, and they'll meet for the Region A Championship tomorrow night. But you know, that's a that, that's kind of a um, well, you got to play a lot to have a rivalry, but you know that's going to be a, uh, a a huge game for the players and fans uh, here tomorrow night. Both teams, though, advance to next week's state quarterfinals. They'll be in the final eight. Both teams advance to the final eight, no matter the outcome of tomorrow night's game. Uh, the biggest thing about tomorrow night's game, if you win, you get to host the Region C runner-up. If you lose tomorrow night, you go on the road to face the Region C champion, and those games will be a week from, uh, I believe, a week from Saturday That's night. That's right. So, and our Lady Devils are guaranteed to get into the final eight, so... Uh, Gate City has both their basketball teams participating in the state tournament this year, and uh, Twin Springs uh, is also. So Scott County is pretty well represented, wouldn't you think? Yes, very well. Very well. We'll take a look at the final scoring. There's uh, not room for three of them. Well, and uh, there's also uh, no hurry to be. We'll be the last ones out of town. <laughs> yes, guaranteed. Uh, I hope they don't turn the rest of the lights off before we're done. First four. Haysai. Haysai, Josh Wallace, three points. Andrew Anderson had two. Charles O'Quinn, two. Okay, now that's seven points. They had 62. The rest of them comes out of three players. Kevin Byers had 10. Ryan Jones had 20. Jacob Colley had 25. So Colley, Jones, and Byers combined for 55 of the 62 points for Haysai. For the Blue Devils, Logan Bateman had one point. Nate Clark had five points. Josh Kilgore with eight. Mark Estep had two. Jamie Hackney with six. Luke Humphreys with nine. Will Humphreys with seven. And Jesse McMurray leads the Blue Devils tonight in scoring as he has all year. 27 tonight for Jesse McMurray. 25 for Jacob Colley. So uh, two of the best players in the region didn't disappoint uh, the fans here tonight. So, uh, And that's Colley's last game. Yes, it is. He's a senior. The, um, the Tigers, you know, they get, like I say, 25 from Colley. They have two other players in double figure. Jones with 20, Byers with 10. Gate City, other than Mike Murray with 27, places nobody in double figures. Mm -hmm. But... They have uh, Luke and Will Humphreys combined for 16 points. Uh, and uh, Josh Kilgore had eight. So uh, Gate City won the game 65-62 in a game that, had they made their free throws, wouldn't have came down to those Not last two nearly. three Marys. Gate City, I have them four of nine in the last two minutes from the free throw line, and it almost bit them. Yes. It, 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 it uh, come just within a whisker of uh, biting the Blue Devils. You can't, you've got to make your free throws, especially in the last couple of minutes when you're trying to protect the lead. But Gate City kind of got away with it by only making 
about 40% of them uh, in the last couple of minutes, but get away with it they did, and that's all that counts, what's on the scoreboard, and it says Gate City 65, Hayside 62. So we'll be back here on WGAT tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, Gate City and J.J. Kelly girls, followed by Twin Springs and Gate City boys. Thanks to Tim Hill and Mark Peters. This is Mike Long for WGAT. Good night. Well, I'm going.